Hello and welcome in today's video. Today I will be discussing about what is a progressive addition lens, how progressive addition lens is different from a bifocal lens, what are the advantages and disadvantages of progressive addition lenses. So let's see what all these points actually mean and let's start the video. So who needs a bifocal or rather who needs a progressive lenses? So before we go to what is a progressive lens, we need to understand who actually requires this progressive addition lenses. So as we know, after an age of 40, we start suffering from something called as presbyopia. That is your accommodation starts reducing or what we can say there is a redu reduction in the amplitude of accommodation because of which your near point of accommodation goes further away from you and you are unable to see things clearly at near that is your 40 centimeter. So to correct this we can give a prescription which will have a distance as well as a near prescription or only a near prescription as well. So how can this be prescribed in the form of spectacles? The options which we have are first is your distance and near. So in distance and near what can be done? The prescription for distance can be made separate and the near prescription can be made in separate glasses. But this becomes quite difficult for the patient as to carry two spectacles at the same time is very much difficult and to change it from distance and near alternately is again a big issue for the patient. So specifically for patient who has a continuous distance and near job. For example, a person who is looking at a presentation as well as at the same time at his laptop will actually require something which can incorporate both distance and near. So this option is not very much useful. Second is a bifocal lens. So bifocal lens can give you distance and near vision both simultaneously. But here the problem is the visible line of the segment top which is present which is cosmetically not very appealing as well as the prismatic jump which is present because of the segment. So this is again a problem. Also in bifocal lenses what happens the intermediate vision is not corrected. So for intermediate the patient does feel a bit of problem that is actually not seen either with the distance neither with your near portion. The third option is your trifocal lenses. So here there are three segments. One is for distance, one is intermediate and one is near. So here what happens is the patient actually can see intermediate as well but again there are three different segments and everywhere there is a sudden jump of image because of change in magnification which is again not very much comfortable for the patient as well as the line which are present are very much visible so giving a cosmetically bad effect. So the problem of all these three was actually substituted by the help of simple usage of your progressive addition lenses. So progressive addition lenses are nothing but these are lenses which have distance and near both power and combined together with a corridor which is having an intermediate vision and there is a continuous progression in the power from distance till near which is not very much visible and there is no segment line which is present. So the drawback of bifocal and trifocal which was the segment line appearance is not present here as well as the problem of intermediate vision is also solved. So what is a progressive addition lens? So as the name suggests progressive addition lenses, a lens which has a progressive change in the addition power. So if we see here this is an example of your progressive addition lens. So in this if you can see it is an example of a plano addition too. So this is yellow line actually shows the point of fixation or rather the distance optical center and above that whatever is present that is a distance power below that starts the corridor. So this much part is called as the corridor or the junction between distance and near. So if you can see here there is a gradual increase in the power starting from plano to 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and so on and it gradually increases up till it reaches the maximum power of the lens which is plus 2. So this gradual progression leads to a continuous single vision even the fixation point is continuously changing. So for intermediate vision this particular point is good to view through and the patient doesn't have any problem in the intermediate vision whereas the lower point is good for reading. So this point or rather the addition of 2 gives you the near point of reading 
whereas at this point it gives you the intermediate vision so because of such a nature of the lens the progressive addition which is present the patient is able to see distance intermediate as well as near giving him the full range of vision which is required by the patient so as we know this progressive addition lens basically means there is a progressive change or rather a progressive increase in the addition of the lens below the distance optical center giving you a progressively additional power as you go downwards towards the near reading point next is bifocal versus your progressive addition lenses so here we'll be talking about both bifocal trifocal as well as progressive addition lenses what are the basic difference so if we see this diagram what we can understand in a bifocal lens what we get is a distance vision and a near vision whereas in a trifocal lens we get a distance intermediate and near but if you see here every time you shift your gaze from one portion to the other there is a sudden change in magnification giving you a jump effect which is not very much comfortable and quite annoying and there is no continuous single point of vision there is not a complete range of vision which is present and every time the patient needs to suffer an image jump which is not very much acceptable whereas a progressive addition lenses because here the power after the distance optical center increases gradually towards the near vision point so there is a continuous point of single vision which doesn't break and there is no sudden image jump which is present giving you a better image quality as well as a single perception of space so coming on to next point that is your anatomy of a progressive lens or rather the point which are present into your progressive addition lenses so here this is a typical progressive addition lenses so taking a cross section if you see this is how a progressive addition lens is the first point is the distance power or rather the power of your distance so in this point the complete distance optical power is given rather if we take this as the plano addition 2 example which was given earlier this complete area would have a plano power or whatever distance power is to be incorporated the second is your corridor or rather what we can say the intermediate vision so progressive corridor is actually the junction or the joining point between the distance and near this point will have a continuous progression in the power in an increasing plus side so if it is plano for the distance there will be a continuous 0.25 0.5 0 0.75 and so on up till it it reaches the near addition point and finally the third zone is the near reading zone where there is a complete power of your addition so if your addition is 2.0 that is 2 so this complete area will have plus 2 as the power so these are the three points or rather the three regions in your progressive lenses now one point which is very much important to understand is the blending region so this blending region actually has an unwanted astigmatism present so where does this astigmatism come from so this if you see is actually a progressive lens so this much is the distance optical power and this is the continuous increasing power or the continuous change in power from 0.25 to plus 2 so because of this what we see is there is again a section which is developing here and this is not acceptable as it would give me a slight amount of image jump so to make this a single continuous surface what we can do is we can cut a wedge of 90 degree at this point and include a plus cylinder to make it a smooth surface but because to because this procedure is done to make the surface smooth this much amount of area will start inhibiting a particular unwanted astigmatism which is called as the unused area or the blending region or area of unwanted astigmatism so in this video we will see how a lens is manufactured that is a progressive addition lenses so this is how a blank is selected for a particular prescription after this it is passed on to multiple procedures starting with the first procedure that would be surfacing so in this video we'll be seeing how surfacing is done so first they are going through a filming procedure in which a film is applied over the front surface so as during the procedure of grinding it should not get deteriorated now this is an aluminum block or an alloy block which is used to block the uh, your base into your lenses so here molten wax is poured between the alloy and the lens blank to stick it so that it can be used for grinding once that is done it is introduced into the cnc machine where it cuts the back surface into the required curvature which will give the power 
Now this is a diamond tool bed which will make the surface into the particular prescription. Once that is done, this particular lens is almost done. Now this rough surface which is the back surface will be polished to make it optically smooth and optically acceptable. Particular abrasive material are used to polish it. Once the polishing is done, it will be went into an another procedure which is basically your engraving. In engraving, the laser is used to mark a particular sign or symbol onto the lenses which will be used for the identification of the lenses. Once engraving is done, these lenses will go into deblocking procedure where they are poured into hot water. Once the wax is molten, the alloy is taken out from the lens and the alloy will be used again for manufacturing of new lenses. Now the lenses which are deblocked will be taken into a machine where the film which was inserted will be removed with the help of your jet spray or a water spray. Once the film is removed, these lenses will be proceeded to your optical uh, parameter which will be checked and once the optical parameters are correct, these lenses will be shipped and went for fitting and once the fitting is done, your progressive is ready. Next is advantages of progressive addition lenses. So we already know what is a progressive addition lens and how they are manufactured. Let's go on to see what are the different advantages which we have. The first is visible segment. Okay, so in bifocal what happens there is a visible segment which is present. So at times it is quite cosmetically unappealing for many of the patients because it is quite visible from front and many patients do not like it as it is visible onto the spectacle giving them a bifocal look. Whereas a patient with a progressive addition lenses these markings can be removed with the help of solvent or a particular solution which after removal will not give any point marking or any segment demarcation and will appear almost like a single vision lens. Even in bifocal lenses because of the segment demarcation at times there is a prismatic effect which gives you more discomfort. Next is continuous field of clear vision. Now in bifocal because there is a segment which is present and there is a change in sudden magnification from the distance to the reading area there is a discontinuation of the image and there is no continuity in the field of vision which is to the patient even the intermediate part is not very much clear whereas in progressive as there is no particular segment which is present there is a continuous single field of clear vision and there is no distortion at all comfortable intermediate vision so the biggest advantage what a progressive gives over a bifocal lens is the intermediate vision. Now in bifocal when we give the prescription to the patient we give it for distance and we give it for a near point of around 40 to 50 centimeter but if the patient has an intermediate work of around 1 meter to 1.5 meter for that he doesn't have a prescription into his lens. So the best part in progressive is that we need not to give it separately as the, in the blending zone or rather what we can say the corridor there are multiple points of different power which will act for different focal points. So in this what will happen? The patient will have a good intermediate vision at any particular distance. So this is the biggest advantage for a patient having a progressive addition lens in compared to your bifocal lenses. Next is continuous support to your eye accommodation. Now the biggest problem in bifocal is suddenly there is a change in your accommodation from distance to near and the eye patient has to adapt a bit. And because of that, even the intermediate can not be clear because intermediate is at a point where there is no power present into your bifocal segment. The best part about progressive is that because of there is a smooth transition from the distance to near, the patient's accommodation is not very much exerted and the patient can have a very complete fatigue-free normal single vision all over the distance till near portion. Next is continuous perception of space. Here what happens that if you take a bifocal or a single vision lens which is only for reading, what happens because of the single power which is present into the lens, the uh, perception of space is rather different. It could be either more magnified or rather more minified. But when you have a progressive addition lens, we know the lens will change its power in each and every point depending onto the optics. That's why there is a continuous perception of single space more better when compared to your single vision as well as your bifocal lenses. Coming on to the disadvantages, what are the disadvantages? The first disadvantage is that the patient 
needs to adapt for the different zone first of all what happens is that whenever the patient is on to the stairs or anywhere when he looks down and his vision is going through the near ad portion everything would be very magnified and they could stumble onto your ladder or rather what we can say onto the steps so the patient needs to adapt for that particular reason second is viewing from different sections the best problem which is found with the patients is that whenever the patient is looking through a progressive he don't know that at what point to see at what particular section so in bifocal we have a clear demarcation which has a distance and a near zone so we can easily teach the patient that from the distance you need to see at distance but at near there is a near segment where we need to see but in progressive there is no clear line which is present so many times the patient needs to adjust himself for what particular length from where he needs to see so that generally takes a week or two to get adapted so the initial adaptation period is again a disadvantages for your progressive finally coming on to the economic point your progressives are almost twice as costly as compared to your bifocal lenses so a bifocal can be comparatively cheap but a progressive can be quite costly even the basic progressive lenses are almost twice as costly as your bifocal lenses also higher designs or better designs of your progressive are more costly as compared to your bifocal i hope this video would help you to understand what is progressive addition lenses what are the advantages disadvantages and how they are manufactured please do subscribe our channel for more videos on optics and your dispensing thank you and goodbye